Hello everyone, this is Tim from Cleveland Baseball Fan 879, and this is game number two of the 2016 World Series using Stratomatic Mostly Advanced. Uh, the Cubs won game one. Uh, go back and watch it if you choose. Uh, tonight's pitching matchup is Jake Arrieta for the Cubs and Trevor Bauer for the Indians. And let me make sure that the correct team is batting, because they're not. Sorry about that. And leading off and playing center field for the Cubs is Dexter Fowler. And here's the pitch from Trevor Bauer to Dexter Fowler. And a 4-6 batting lefty swing and a miss. Strike three. And here is Chris Bryant. Right-handed hitting third baseman. And a 1-5, and that ball struck the deep center field off the wall. And in the second with a one-out double is Chris Bryant. 1-5 would have been a home run. Yes, that's an 11. All right, here's Anthony Rizzo. They will... Uh... Hmm, runs out of 14. We'll hold him on. 5-3. It's the lefty that's to the right fielder, Chisholm Hall, and 11 will not be in range. Lonnie is an E5. E5 and a 7. He will make the play now because the result is a fly ball B. Actually, we'll just take it right out. We won't do that rule. Usually, if it's a fly ball right field B, you can send him, but I don't think you can do it off an X chance. X chance. Uh, type in the comments if that's true or not. I don't believe it is. So, we're on second, two down. No score here in the top of the first. Here's Ben Zobris playing left field. And a 1 11, and that ball is hit the deep left field, but plenty of room for. Uh, in front of the wall is Coco Crisp, and that will retire the side. 1 to 13 was a, would have been a homer, but that's a 20. Move the light up a little bit more. And that will retire the side. So after half inning, it's the Cubs nothing and the Indians coming to bat. Yes, Arietta. Finishes his warm-up tosses. And he'll face the designated hitter, Carlos Santana. Four, seven. And against the lefty, because he's a switch hitter, that's ball four. So leadoff runner on. And here is Jason Kipnis. Uh, they will not hold Santana on. And a 6-7 against the lefty's second base hex. Uh, Baez, yeah, 1 out of 20. That's a good play by Baez. The second for one. The relay, double play. Yeah, 1 out of 20. That's definitely ground ball A. Yep. So good play by uh, Javier Baez. I'll bring up Francisco Lindor. Two down, nobody on. Three, seven, and that's a ground ball to second, and Baez throws the first in. That will retire the side. One complete, no score. All and do up for the Cubs, Kyle Schwarber for the designated hitter, and Javier Baez and Wilson Contreras. And here's Schwarber. Five, nine, that's a shortstop and fantastic diving stop by Lindor. Throws the first in time. And that's a one and only a one fielder makes that play, which Lindor is. Wow. 
standing ovation from the progressive field crowd. Here's Javier Baez. One seven ground ball to short. Lindor says I have has this one and two up, two down. And here's Wilson Contreras. Three ten. That's a ground ball to first. Nice play by Napoli in the hole. Throws to Bauer covering, and that will retire the side. One and a half here in Cleveland. No score. And do up for the Indians, Napoli, Ramirez, and Chisholm Hall. I'll bring up Napoli, whose infamous slogan from the fans was Party at Napoli's in 2016, as he did very well for us. And a 1-5 fly ball to left. And there is Ben Zobrist, one down. I'll bring up Jose Ramirez. A 4-5. Swing and a miss, strike three. So two up, two down. Here's Lenny Chisenhall. And a 1-9. And that's ripped down the line and cutting it off. Or not down the line. That's a center field. Sorry. That's in the right center field. So Lair gets to it, but not until Chisholm Hall's in with a double. Now bring up Covelli Coco Crisp. And they are not going to hold Chisholm Hall. Three, six. Ground ball back to the mound. Arietta over to first. And that will retire the sides. The Indians strand a runner. We go to the top half of the third, no score. And due up for the Cubs is Jorge Soler, Addison Russell, and back to the top of the order, Dexter Fowler. And here is Jorge Soler playing right field. He's the 2021 World Series MVP for the Braves. And a 5-7, and nicely cut off in center field by Naquin. And Solaire, let's see, five, seven, is held to a single. So good play holding him to a single. Uh, they will not hold Solaire on. And here's Addison Russell, not expecting a bunt. 112. Line drive caught by the second baseman. Throws the first, and they get Solaire leaning. Oh, the nice little Neil Lomax. I'll probably bring these down just a little bit. And that'll retire. And that's a double play. So back to the top of the order. Here's Dexter Fowler. 0 for 1 with a strikeout. And 6 7 batting lefty. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So that'll retire the side. Bottom of the third. No score. Here's Arietta. He will face Naquin Perez and back to the top of the order, Santana. Here's Naquin. 6 2 against the lefty ground ball to first. Rizzo up with it, takes it to the base himself. One down. And here's Roberto Perez. 2 8. Swing and a miss, strike three. So two up, two down here in the third, and here's Carlos Santana. Three eleven ground ball to first. Rizzo underhands it to Arietta, and that will retire the side. So one two three here in the third. We go to the fourth. No score. And do up for the Cubs. Bryant, Rizzo, and Zobrist. Here's Bryant. Doubled his first time up. 5-11. Fly ball to left. And Crisp is there. One down. Here's Anthony Rizzo. And a 1-5. Draws a one-out walk. And they will not hold Rizzo on. I'll bring up Ben Zobrist. 
three, seven. And eh, if they weren't holding him on even regular advance, this would be ground ball to second. Kipnis over to Lindor on to Napoli. Inning ending double play. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. Still no score. And Arietta will face Kipnis, Lindor, and Napoli here in the fourth. And here is Kipnis. Okay. Three, six, swing and a miss, strike three. Kipnis is 0 for 2. And here is Francisco Lindor. 0 for 1 with a ground out. Five, six. Against the lefty, swing and a miss, strike three. So two up, two down here in the fourth. And here's Mike Napoli. One, eight. Oh, just missed the home run chance. Ground ball to third. And Bryant has it. That will retire the side. We go to the fifth. No score. And do up for the Cubs. Schwarber, Baez, and Contreras. And here's the pitch from Bauer to Schwarber. And a 5-7. That's not a 1, so that's a, thankfully... Fly ball to center. Naquin runs it down. One down. And that's bring up Javier Baez. Struck out his, or ground out his first time up. And a 2-9. And now he will swing and a miss. Strike three. So that is the third strikeout for Bauer. And here's Wilson Contreras. Two out, nobody on here in the top of the fifth. No score. And another 2-8 ground ball to short. Lindor over to Napoli, and that will retire the side. Four and a half in the books, no score. And Arietta will face Ramirez, Chisenhall, and Crisp here in the bottom of the fifth. And 3-8... Field goal roll for Ramirez. Back to the mound. One down. And here's Lenny Chisenhall, the only hit for the Indians so far. We've only had two base runners, and one was erased on a double play. Four, six lefty, and that's a walk. So Lenny Chisenhall being patient with Arietta. And here's Coco Crisp. Uh, Let's see, do we want to hold on? Um, let's see, one to ten. Even if we didn't hold them on. Oh, they're not going to hold on Chisholm Hall. Make Crisp a C hit and run. Uh, well, fifth inning. Might as well, with, yeah, with one down, might as well try it. So avoid the double play. All right, so... Chris will be a C hit and run. They're going to try it. Here's the pitch from Marietta to Crisp. Off goes Chisenhall. Oh, this is probably a stealing attempt. So what, C and a 10? Batter is safe. Lead runner out by the shortstop. So stayed out of the double play. And Crisp being a B stealer will be held on. So he'd be a one to nine. So no thanks, but they will hold him on. And I'll bring up Tyler Naquin. Uh, ground out his first time up. One, four. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. So Indians leave another runner. And we're to the top of the six. Still no score. And this is a point of weakness uh, for both Pitchers now, for those just maybe watching for the first time, pardon me for the, the full-timers, but point of weakness is that little number next to where it says starter, and three of any hits and or unintentional walks, and the dots on uh, Bauer's card next to the strikeouts become hits. So here's Solaire, 
Three nine, swing and a miss, strike three. So one for two for Solaire today. Here's S. Russell, 0 for 1. A line into a double play. 2 11, ground ball to first. Napoli to power. Two down. Here's Dexter Fowler. 4 8. Batting lefty. That's a 1 to 19 single chance. And Fowler will reach on a single. And they will. Let's see here. No, they won't hold him on because of uh, Perez's fantastic arm. He'd be one to nine. All right, here's Chris Bryant. And here's the pitch to Bryant. Three eights found the field goal. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So seven, nine, and ten are walks, but eight is a strikeout. So we are through five and a half. No score. And some one tick against Bauer's weakness. And here is Arietta facing Perez, Santana, and Kipnis. Three eleven. That's a ground ball to first. Rizzo takes it to the base himself. One down. And back to the top of the order, Carlos Santana. 2-7. Oh, a one would have been a triple, but that's a two. And a nice diving catch by Fowler. That was all or nothing there. Do or die if you want to say it. But he made the catch. And maybe that might fire up the Cubs in the, bot in the top half. We'll see. And here's Jason Kipnis. 5-10. Ooh, almost caught the home run roll, but that's a catcher X. Uh, Contreras is a three and a six. We won't care about the pass ball. We just want the result. Uh, pop up. So, and caught by Contreras, and that's a one, two, three inning. That is, oh, we had the fielder's choice, but that's 11 out of the last 14 set down by Arietta. And we are through six, no score. I wonder what the longest uh, non-scoring World Series game is. Somebody want to put that in the comments as well. Uh, here's Bauer. Uh, not ready to quite get the bullpen ready yet, but uh, let's see here. I mean, uh, get Otero and... McAllister loosening in the pen. All right, here's Rizzo. 6-5, lefty, fly ball to center. And Naquin is there. One down, here's Zobras. Uh, one, uh, sorry, 0 for 2, fly out and ground into a double play. 3-11, that's a base hit to right field. And so... Two against his point of weakness, and Andrew Miller has joined loosening in the pen. Um, we'll let Bauer face Schwarber. Actually, do we want, or do we want to go lefty, lefty right now? Nah, not right now. All right, Bauer will stay in. One, eight, and good thing he did. Ground ball to first, Napoli to second for one. Relay throw in time. We'll call that three to six to one. And it's stretch time here at Progressive Field. Senior, take me out to the ball games. Root, root, root for the Guardians. If they lose, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. Oh, sorry, still the Indians at this time. Uh, here's Lindor. Uh, let uh, Arietta come out. Um, Bauer will come out for the eighth, but he'll be on a tight leash. Andrew Miller is loosening in the pen. One, six. Base hit for Lindor. 
and the Cubs will now get bullpen action. Uh, Carl Edwards Jr. and Hector Rondon loosening in the pen. And they are not expecting a bunt from Napoli, but they will hold Lindor on. And here's the pitch to Napoli. 5-11. Base hit right field. Uh, let's see here. Right fielder is Solaire with a minus one. Lindor being held on 14, 13. They'll put the stop sign up, and I think that'll be it for Arietta. And Carl Edwards Jr. is coming in. And Ramirez is a deep hunter. Wow. Okay, so don't be expecting a bunt from him. And let me put Edwards in the books here. Okay, so Arietta goes six innings and is responsible for the two runners on base. All right, here's Ramirez to face Edwards. One, eight. And that's a ground ball to second. To short for one, the relay throw in time. Going to third is Lindor. But two outs, runner on third, and it's going to be up to Lonnie Chisenhall, who's actually had a decent day, a double and a walk. And here's the pitch to, for Edwards to Chisenhall. Three, six, not this time. High pop-up. Russell calls for it, and that will retire the side. Ah, uh, the Indians threaten, but do not score. And we go to the eighth, still scoreless. And it don't look like Edwards may come out for the ninth, or the eighth. Uh, Rondone is loosening. He may come in. We'll see. All right, so here's Bauer to pitch into the eighth. He will be on a very short leash, I think. <laughs> Here's the pitch to Baez. Three seven. <laughs> Found that hole again. Fly ball to center. Naquin there. Baez is 0 for 3. Here's Contreras. Five six. And Bauer is not tired yet. So that's a good strikeout. And here's Jorge Soler. Actually, they, they well, let's see, Soler is actually one for two, so we'll let him hit. So here's a pitch from Bauer to Soler. One, six, swing and a miss, strike three. And Bauer is saying, like, I'm not tired yet, but he will be because with stratomatic rules, and I understand it's not a popular one, but... Uh, Point of weakness plus two innings is the max that he will get, so he would, have been, he would be automatically tired for the ninth. So Andrew Miller will be loosening. He will be in the game. Let's see. Edwards Jr. will stay out. We'll see if he wants to. They will have Rondon loosening. If he gets any trouble, we'll probably put him in. All right. Bottom of the eighth. Chris Naquin and Perez. 6-6 six, six. against the lefty. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Here's Tyler Naquin. 6-10. That's to the shortstop. Uh, Russell is a one. If it's in range, he'll get it. And it is. So two up, two down here in the bottom of the eighth. Here's Roberto Perez. 3-7 against the righty. Ground ball back to the mound. And that's a 1-2-3 inning for Carl Edwards Jr., who pitches an inning in two-thirds, and he will definitely be resting after this. Uh, Rondon will pitch the ninth. And much as I hate to do it, Bauer almost three times through. We'll let Andrew Miller come in and take over in the ninth. 
uh, Miller pitched, let's see here. I don't think I can tell, but he did pitch in game one, but I'm not going to try to find out how much. So excellent outing for Trevor Bauer goes eight innings, does not allow a run. And he allowed one, two, three, four hits. I know this is not quite the Kevin Cash situation, but got to do it. Okay, so Miller now in the game, facing Russell, and then back to the top of the order, Fowler and Bryant. There's the pitch, Miller to Russell. 6-8, swing and a miss, strike three. Yeah, that card is very nasty against right-handed hitting. And Fowler will be batting right-handed. Switch hitter. 2-7. Against the lefty, swing and a miss, strike three. All of them hits in column two and found the strikeout. And here's Chris Bryant. Uh, Hector Rondon is loosening and will be coming out in the ninth. 6-6. Uh, six, six. And against the righty, once again, swing and a miss, strike three. And we'll go to the bottom of the ninth. No score. And they will bring in uh, Rondone to pitch the ninth. So good outing by Carl Edwards Jr. And we'll give it up to Rondone to pitch the bottom of the ninth. Uh, let's see here. Miller maybe coming out. Um, or Mike Clevenger will be, may come out for the ninth, but... Uh, We'll see what Clevenger might want to do. All right, here's Santana to face Rondell. Let me get him in the ball game here. Uh, Santana is 0 for 2 with a walk. Four. Ground ball to short. Russell over to first, one down. And here's Jason Kipnis. Two, seven, found the, all the hits and found the out. So two down, fly ball to center. And here is Francisco Lindor. Six, four to the third baseman. That's Bryant, 13, not in range. Bryant is an E20. E20 and an eight is good enough. Oh, Bryant will make the play. And free baseball. Get your free baseball. We go to the 10th. Uh, we'll have Miller. Oh, let's see here. Um, I guess we could have Miller come out for the uh, the tenth. Okay, so Miller will come out for the tenth. Uh, they will have Mike Clevenger and uh, Cody Allen will be. Loosening as well. All right, so Miller to face Rizzo. Zobrist and, Sch and Schwarber. 2 6. Oh, against the lefty, and that's ripped into the gap. And in a second with a double is, uh, Riz is Rizzo. And let's see, do they want to bring in. Actually, they will bring in Clevenger now. Okay, so. Uh, they're expecting a bunt from Zobrist, and he will be a C bunter. So Zobrist will square around. 
And that's a good bunt for a C bunner. Yes, it is. Thrown out by the pitcher. Runner advances. So, Sack will say one to four. And here's Schwarber. Uh, infield will be brought in. Uh, let's see. Nope, they're going to put the four fingers up to intentionally walk him. And here's Javier Baez. Infield is still in. And here's the pitch to Javier Baez. 2-12. Pop-up. Foul territory. Third base side. Ramirez is under it. Two down. Wow, that's huge. And that'll bring up Wilson Contreras. They'll play even, or they'll play back now. And here's the pitch to Contreras. 6-6. Six, six. Ball four. This is the unintentional kind. And they will pinch hit for Jorge Soler. Uh, Jason Hayward will come in and pinch hit. With the bases loaded and two down, he's a much better fielder than Soler is. So, and now batting for Jorge Soler, Jason Hayward. So, we put in his stance. Okay. Soler was one for three, but with two strikeouts. And here is Hayward. Bases loaded, two down, top of the tenth. Clevenger facing Hayward. Six, seven. Low, ball four. And that walks in a run. And you know what that means. Aroldis Chapman is getting loosened in a hurry. And he will be pitching the bottom of the 10th. Unless the Cubs break this wide open. And here's Anderson Russell. Three, four. <sighs> That's another walk. And this... Dog and Pony Show might be leaving here pretty soon. Well, let's see here. I think I'll bring in Allen in this situation. Uh, Dan Otero is loosening in the pen. And they're going to call time stall, and then now they're going to bring him in. Uh, so Clevenger, not so good. And here's Otero. Try to get the final out here in the 10th and keep this a two-run game. This Chapman is still loosening in the pen. 3-2. Ground ball to short, and that will retire the side. But the Cubs get two, and here comes Chapman. For the first time in the series. That card is Absolutely filthy. Okay, run down. Okay, so oops. all right, and he'll Chapman will face Napoli. Ramirez and Chisholm Hall, so the heart of the order. Essentially, you don't want to get it off of Chapman's card, because you will probably not get a hit. All right, so here's... Chapman to face Napoli. Six, six, and swing and a miss, strike three. Here's Jose Ramirez. 
And against a righty, that's another swing and a miss. Strike three. And here's Lonnie Chisenhall. One ten, and this will no against the lefty. That's a swing and a miss. Strike three, and that's your ball game. Final score in ten innings. The Cubs win this one two nothing and take a two nothing lead in the series. Well, can't really. I mean, Miller gave up the the double to start the tenth, and so you kind of had to pull him. Plus, you want to kind of save him for later in the series. And then Clevenger, unfortunately, got a case of the yips, walking three straight before Otero finally came in. So, what are you going to do? All right, everybody. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. And for all you out there playing your tabletop games, please enjoy them to your fullest. Have a good night, everybody.